This is an interesting fan that I just recently purchased and it came in today. It is a job site fan. It is a clip fan, but it's specifically designed for people that work more like construction workers. If you've ever seen those construction workers, when they're dressed in the orange, they have the orange, you know, attire on. It's for construction workers. And interestingly enough, they sell a number of these fans on Amazon, so I figure why not. It has two speeds, it seems quite powerful. The low speed lasts about nine hours on the battery, and then the high speed is about five. Okay, unfortunately, I'm surprised they didn't put medium on it, but I guess those workers really don't need medium. Um, it's quite fancy, so I'm gonna pull it out and let you guys see it. Here we go. And I'm greeted by the same garbage that they give me all the time. Amazon never learns their stinking lesson. Here's the fan right here. As you can see, it's like constructed for people that at the work site. They kind of give you a warning, so I'm not exactly sure why. I'm going to try to turn it this way so you guys can go ahead and read it. Hopefully the camera will allow me to do that. It says, keep away from small children. A thin film may uh, cling to the nose and uh, mouth and prevent breathing. And then it's got some really small writing down there. It says, tape logic or some off the wall. Model number, whatever, some junk down there. Anyways, so that's for the children. All right, well, this is what it looks like. It has the black blade in there. And uh, we're going to go ahead and pull this thing out. Put it back so you guys can kind of see it. And it's by this company that's been around for a long time. Kellen Tools. They're a good company, and now they're in the fan business. They have a plethora of fans, but this one is more like it. Now, they don't specify the milliamps of the battery. I'm not so, not exactly sure why they never did. Maybe it's in the, in the, um, the mango. But they did say the high speed will last about nine hours, which is quite close to 10. And then the low speed is about, I'm sorry, the high speed is about five hours, which is close to 10. And the low speed, I'm tripping. The low speed is about nine hours, which is close to 10. And the high speed is about five hours, which is close to six. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I sound like I'm getting ready to go to sleep at night, but I'm real tired and I'm half out of my mind because I'm ready to go to bed, <laughs> even though that's not this. Anyways, no one's perfect. We all make mistakes. Please don't get in the comment box being rude about that because I'm in a good mood today. All right? So let's open it up and see what we're dealing with. I have to say they did package this up quite well. I'm sorry, you guys can't see it all too good. Yeah, hopefully you can see it now. Not as good as they're gonna get. They did package it up quite well. Okay. I'm going to keep the box, so don't freak out over it. I don't keep boxes.
blades look like they're made well. Turns quite easy. The blades are not black. They're actually gray. I don't know why many fan companies like to go with the gray scheme instead of all the other different colors, but it is what it is. For cleaning, it has one, two, three, four, five, six. Six screws. That's six or seven. Six or seven screws for cleaning. You have to pull it off the back and then unscrew the screws in the back and then you can take off the front guard and clean it. It has a little connection here that covers this up, kind of make it waterproof because it is waterproof and then that covers it back up when you're not using your power source, which is pretty cool. Here goes some specs. Okay, 9 volts, 2.0 amps, 10 watts. That's a lot of amperage for such a little fan. Yeah, 2.0 amps. Wow. That's almost like what a big fan would have, 2 amps. I guess I'm reading it wrong. It's 2.0 amps. Seems like the construction of it is made well. I don't see no imperfections about it. It's got two magnets right here where you can click it or clamp it onto metal. It has a little hook. It's made well right here. A little bit of debris. Looks like it clips open quite easy. There you go. Has your connection right here. There's your manual. Yes, they care about their customers. There is the USB-C connection. Yes, it is USB-C. Now, I don't know if this fan have enough juice to power it up, so I'm gonna put it right here. And you're not gonna be able to hear the wind stream. I'm telling you that right now because the camera's too far away. But I'm gonna zoom it in close so you guys can kind of see it run. At least you'll be able to see it run. And let's see if it has enough juice to run it. I'll have a better video of this. I might record it again tonight because I gotta record tonight in the studio for um, you know, YouTube, making my fan videos. So, here we go. Let's see what we got. It's moving quite a bit of wind, so maybe you are able to hear the wind screen. That's full power, I believe. Even on low speed, as quiet as it is, it's moving a crap load of air. Wow, I believe it got good pitch. No wonder they call it a job site fan. And spin down. And the spin down time is decent. Yep, it is brushes. Those motors tend to last longer than brush. Well, that's all there is to it. I'll try to do a better video of it tonight, turning all the other fans off in the studio so you guys are able to hear the actual fan and wind stream and all that. So there will be a part two of this. But there it is. Hope you like the fan. And this is my latest clip fan. You know I have a soft heart for clip fans. I like a lot of clip fans in the collection. All right. I'm out the fan man. I hope you enjoyed the video. Keep the comments nice, please. I'm in a good mood. And out.